pulling up shop like it's 2020. Don't get ahead of yourself yet, Hero Fakes. We are still in 2019, and we are actually halfway through the year, man. And you know that when it's Hero Fakes' birthday. So we got to commemorate not just the best, but also some of the play sets that have stood out to me. Really, there only hasn't been one. Anything apart from this that we saw right here with the Wreck and Slam was, I think it was basic rings. All the elite scale rings was the previous year uh 2018 but i want to before we get and cover these you guys i just want to let you know that this car this playset right here that they had introduced into the wave this was so cool man like this was kind of like hopefully the beginning of other things maybe like an american badass entrance crates epic moments whatever you want to go with give us that motorcycle i mean that one works if you are curious that's the marvel legends the one that came with wolverine but this is so cool i got so much function i mean if you guys saw some of the uh like setups that we had uh laid out with this we got some great uses with figure matches with all sorts of things because all of these parts on this vehicle again the full review is on the channel so go check it out but i mean the hood brakes the chairs come out the trunk you can store a whole boatload of accessories back there i don't care if you bring your sledgehammer your steel chair right there it's all gonna fit in there and it was an actual vehicle that what that actually came to fruition because braun Strowman he had ended up wrecking this on monday night raw i think it was like three months after the actual set was released but still pretty cool man and that's why we're here in the garage man we needed to make room we needed to have space to fit not only the vehicles but also the best figures right here of 2019. I think some of these might get replaced because we still have another six months to go. We'll do a recap at the end of 2019. Give you my thoughts. Because this Jeff Hardy right here, Elite Series 67. Dude, yeah, Jeff Hardy. Well, this one, I actually preferred this one a lot more over the Chase variant. Because the Chase variant was Jeff Hardy for this wave. I just, I don't know what it was but about the colors on this one. The orange and the, and the blue that just stood out to me, uh, you know, from the from the actual chase. And the chase is usually the one that's more desired, but not in this case. Now, these are not going to go by ranking, so I just want you to know that these are not ranked. I will give you my number one, though, for sure, because there is one that has just stood in my heart throughout all these six months. Roman Reigns, Elite Series 68 right here. Uh, and look, Roman, really not much changes ever to the figure, but the significant changes for me at least was that fist, dude. I, I, when we reviewed this, I hyped a little bit too much about the fist, so that's my bad, but I ain't forgiving anybody for utilizing the shizzy out of this. <laughs> like, the Superman punch has been going crazy here in the WHF home, and also, too, it was the style of vest for me right here, and just the overall paint deco on the tattoo. Love this Roman Reigns. Elias are very very last the dying breed has been taken over but look well, it's not missed. I think that epic moment, or not epic moments, the new Ultimate Edition, I'm glad that these were replaced. Like, I loved it. I, I thought it was cool. But I'm just, like, the, the new stuff that we're getting with the new upcoming uh, Elites right here, it's so much better. But Elias right here was still pretty cool. It didn't come with the shirt. I did add my uh, the, the shirt from the basic, from the WrestleMania Elias. Um it did come with the guitar. I think this Elias was a lot better because it came with an actual guitar that he's actually brought out to the ring with the right actual like design right there on the front. The scan too, man. I know it was the reuse scan from that basic from the WrestleMania, but just a lot better looking head scan and also different colored pants from his previous Elite. Now, the hard ones, the toughest ones to get were those those uh, exclusives. And, you know, here's, this is a cool thing. I don't know if you guys saw my post on Instagram yesterday, but uh, what Ringside is doing, they're actually getting their hands on some of these uh, exclusives, these Target exclusives. Not this one in particular. It was Alexander Wolfie, but regardless, this Drew McIntyre, dude, yeah, okay. So the first one, the first release, which was several, I'm talking about like, you know, three, four, five, six years back, this one was just a lot better than that first Elite before he had uh, departed from WWE. So really stoked to get this one. Now, I know this one was actually more. We, had, we reviewed this towards the end of 2018. But that was because we had gotten an early sample from Mattel. But they actually hit retail right here, 2019. So Pete Dunn, yes, we are throwing him in there. Not just because he's an exclusive and he's a rare character. It's just the time that was spent to put this figure together. The actual likeness of him. I really love the likeness of the head scan. The little extra pieces right there with the vest. The tattoos, man. And since we are on the tattoo, wait, wait until I get a little bit further in with these exclusives. Because there is one. 
one that's just going to be like hero figs. How? How did they make? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you because AJ Styles, he's been all over the platform as of late. Right here, this one was Top Picks 2019 edition. I think uh, the one that we did get right here with Elite Series 66, not the actual head scan. This was the head scan right here. This one is going to be an honorable mention. He's not in my list. Uh, I think the green one had replaced it just because of the actual like brightness of it all and also how they modified the actual head scan. What they did with this one, they actually ended up shaving part of the actual like plastic excess skin right down at the bottom and it just really brought it up some from you know what the previous one looked like I, I the green should have been you know a different uh i think more of a green more more than a brighter yellow but this aj right here oh sh for sure we gotta throw him into this list rusev you cannot have a best figures of 2019 now without this bulgarian brute got a new sculpt on him too not from the waist up i'll take off the shirt not from the waist up, but from the waist down. We got a new mold on it. The legs right here, at least on mine, and I think some have been uh, br bringing that up to my attention as well. But when you do pose them around quite a bit, they do have the tendency to become loose. And that's because they have that ball joint style. But Rusev right here, the right legs, like, we needed Rusev for, I mean, we had previous elites of him, but it's been for quite some time now that he's been wearing this look, this style of shorts right here, where they're all raised up versus that mold that he had on the previous one. And the scan too, man, that full-on beard. I know some people did not get a kick out of it, but I still love this one a lot more. This next group right here that I'm about to bring to the frame, these ones, you have to throw them in there. I know that they're not like, you know, top card wrestlers. They're not even considered mid card. They're not even in the mid card section, but who knows? Maybe, you know, now that they've been broken up, things might change, but all of Undisputed or all of the, all of Santa was called Undisputed. <laughs> it's because they had some epic ma matches with them in NXT, but all of these, they, they got to be in here, man. Like the, just the accessories, the look of them, the style of mask, and no, they did not all come in the same wave i know some of you may be new to the channel but if you are new to collecting the two exclusives right here was alexander wolfie which like i said this one now is up at ringside and then also this one was a uh, target exclusive well, both of them were target exclusives but now ringside's got their hands on these and these one this one was from elite series 65 right here uh and then elite series 66 right there for nikki cross now randy orton since we are in the same you know talk right here with the tattoo uh, designs and paint deco this one was an, an upgrade from every Orton like Orton kind of similar to uh, the big dog right there Roman Reigns a lot of releases in the figure wave but I'm telling you like everybody sat down over there on the table you know when Mattel had come to a conclusion that if we're gonna release Orton you gotta make sure that this Orton is the best one and it was it was how they had painted on the actual tattoos how every Orton should have had it prior to this release and just the overall look of the figure man like the scan right there this randy orton for sure my friends daniel o'brien yes yes elite series 68 these hey this wave right here it only had a small like not all obviously not every figure from each wave will be in this video but elite series 68 for daniel o'brien this one has to be in this one this look right here of the seattle seahawks look the same yes hands that we actually got with this kurt angle right here from Elite Series 66. Both of them are going to fit this bill right here for some of the best. I do think that uh, if they do end up releasing another Daniel Bryan, it's it's very potential that he might be replaced, you know, come late this year in the best of 2019. And I think uh, it, what's going to really have to occur in order for that to happen, it's going to have to be an upgrade of the head scan. Because again, a good percentage of you were not a fan of these. Kurt Angle right here. Yes, Kurt, Olympic gold medalist Angle. Before he left, before he retired, he needed to be released in figure form for a current look. Yes, the shield. All right, we got that one. People hated that one. We're not talking about that one. The dress, the actual suited look right there for Kurt Angle. Another current one, but not in his actual in-ring gear, as we all know and love right there for Kurt Angle. Now, the dream, the Velveteen dream, there were some minor flaws. I think had they had uh, nailed the torso on this one. This would have been, I think, uh, for sure, either number two or number, maybe even number three. I can't put him in number one because wait till you see number one. Uh, number one is going to be epic, man. But Velveteen Dream, it was just a lack of the style of torso that just really brought him down. I really digged the fabric shirt that he came with and the actual, like, 
perfect look right there of Velveteen Dream. Now, since uh, ringside exclusive, since we are on that same uh, line right there, we got to talk about these only, is it, I don't know, I think there was, I think the Kurt Angle was 2018. I'll have to go back and check, but these right here, these ringside exclusive Hardy Boys, man, Jeff Hardy. I know we just re reviewed these about a week or, or I think it was about a week or two ago. These ones right here, dude, such an iconic, legendary moment, you know, figure form that we needed for these two. Um, the look of them, look, under the shirt, with the shirt, whichever look, whichever way you want to display these, I think both of these Hardy Boys right here must for sure. This Rey Mysterio early, I'm talking about WCW, I think it was uh, when he took on Eddie Guerrero. I just, well, I think it was uh, Elite Series 70, it's it's in the near future, Elite Series 69. We're going to see an actual current Rey Mysterio, so I think, I, look, it's a safe route. I think uh, if anybody was to going to, or if they were going to re-release Rey Mysterio back into the wave, they had to bring something from the WCW days because I think uh, the one that we had gotten before which was like you know earlier Ray Ray it was the white look attire that Ultimate Edition, this would be, I think, uh, if you were to ask any figure collector as to where Mattel, in which direction they're going to go here, going, you know, forward with the future, especially that, uh, you know, of Hasbro. Well, we talked the whole, we talked about the battle between Hasbro and Mattel. I think uh, if they put these, like, this style of figure right here with these regular elite waves, I think Mattel is just going to really bring everything up because that's what they did when they released these figures. They added so much with these. I mean, we had so many inner changeable parts for both of them but i think they just need to be part of the regular wave i think this ultimate edition just has to be its own entity and you know like don't you don't have to put it in a massive box because i know that when you do like big boxes like kind of like what they did with those entrance grades before these that's where the price point goes up because obviously shipping costs that's the whole reason behind that but just st start doing this going forward every elite that we get I think uh, everyone will agree with me that these would be the new style and then and again you wouldn't necessarily have to replace your old figures You're like oh man they're giving us a whole new figure new style more articulation because all of these were in scale like with uh, just the regular uh, other figures so it's not like you'd have to replace your whole collection but it would just be a great turning point right here for Mattel if they word to put these in just into the regular wave now undertaker right here the american badass once i added that bike we we can't forget about the dead man and we can't forget about mabel either both from elite series 68 68's chase variant was mabel i like the original one i think just the paint uh design right there up front just looks a lot better so i, I this is not the head scan we did do a fix up with that uh viscera which kind of leads me to my next subject you know this is going to be the new uh or the new talent that has been added to the legends roster so look forward to either a sexual no not sexual chocolate uh, uh viscera or uh, okay i can't believe it i'm forgetting the third name there's a third name but that there's uh three or two other alter egos that we can get right there with mabel undertaker the american badass he is now complete so now that we have the the car right now that mattel has introduced us into the wave the motorcycle i think that's the next turn i think if this was in a package dude just to envision this right all, um, kind of like a defining moments because defining moments either had extra accessories or multiple figures. But if they were to have the dead man right here, or uh, not the dead man, the American badass in a motorcycle on this style of packaging with you know cloth goods like that, oh dude, sign me up for that. Now the best, best figure as of right now, as of 2019. It's got to be right here. Alistair Black. The review on this figure, I don't think it, it, <laughs> it gave this figure any. It didn't justify how good of, you know, the tattoo designs, the jacket, the head scan. Yes, the height was not accurate. And some do uh, disagree still with the scale right there with the size of the torso, the Daniel Bryan. But I think once you take off this jacket, you'll fully understand why this, why this one is still number one right here i just wish that what they're doing right now it's i wish they weren't doing that with him on smackdown it's they're wasting how good of a talent he is he needs to get into some they need to let him free i think they need to let him breathe uh dean ambrose i think is a prime example once you let some of these guys really just go all out if they're not having to read a script dude they can they can perform some magic not only in the ring but also on the mic but yeah the tattoo 
the look this figure is uh even like even if you tried going on ebay right now the rarity of this one even though he is now more readily available even though hero figs has never found him in the wild i don't know how they're still popping up on ebay i don't know how people are finding this because i'm still stuck with i think was elite to was it elite or wave three i think it was either the one with had the bulgarian the rusev the alexander rusev still at my targets but Yes, for sure. Number one. Give me your list. I think there might be some figures in this lot right here or in this whole pile that might have not fit in your list. But give me your list. Give me your uh, as to maybe like your top five because there is so much good stuff right now as of 2019. And uh, I think, what is it? Uh, in a couple of weeks, in about a month or so, we are going to have some more releases, some more images. Uh, Elite Series 70, 71. Um, just, you know, final products. I, I just genuinely cannot wait, you know, what 2019 still has yet to offer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.